しょう俺だけを思っててほしい俺が死んだ後もしばらく10年以上は引きずっててほしい You know, after watching this scene, for me, this has to be one of the best scenes for me in anime history because it was it was just so unexpected, but at the same time, so real. Throughout this entire time, we've seen this Aaron that doesn't care, that's doing things for a purpose, and he knows that it's messed up, but at the same time, like, he knows that he has to do it. But here is, like, this one instance where it's like, man, what's happening here, I really don't want it to happen, and it's especially geared towards Mikasa, the woman that he truly loves. Which leads me to say something that I think uh, probably a lot of you may disagree with, but I truly believe that... Attack on Titan ended up being a love story. At the end of the day, I think that this was a love story of a man that wants to save the woman that he loves, even though at the end of the day, he won't have his happily ever after with her. You know, what we see with Jesus at a face level, if you were just to look at like the historical context, right? He was a rebel right somebody that fought against the religious system at the time and then at the end of the day he was a martyr that was killed for his beliefs right but then when you start looking at the bible and if you believe what the bible says what we come to find out is that this is a true love story between god and humanity right john 3 16 for god so loved the world that he gave his only son right like behind the existence of Jesus and everything that he carried out here on earth, it was ultimately a love story, right? He sacrificed himself for the church, right? His bride, so that ultimately we could have salvation and have eternal life with him. And in the same way, I think that this is what Attack on Titan is about, right? There's a lot of history and there's a lot of things that happen all around this anime, but ultimately at the center of it all, you have these two characters, Eren and Mikasa. And then at the end of the day, at least for what we call the main character, antagonist or hero, whichever way you look at it, Eren is doing everything that he does for the people that he loves and more so with Mikasa. And I think that this is why when I saw this scene, like it was just, it was beautiful, man, because you see like this real moment of Eren just like, for a second, just breaking down and letting his true feelings out to his best friend, right? We see something similar with Jesus as well, right? When he goes to pray to the Father and he says, can this bitter cup be passed from me, right? Basically asking the Father, hey, can this cross thing that I have to do not happen? Is there another way? And then he understands that there isn't, and then ultimately he goes to the cross. And in the same way, Aaron has this far-fetched creation that he makes right where he is with Mikasa and they've escaped and he's gonna live out his uh few years that he has left with her in happiness right so they can enjoy that and that's kind of like his moment of saying man like is there another way for me to not have to do this and ultimately have a few days with or a few years with the woman that I love and we can see this a bit in this fantasy that he creates for himself and Mikasa, where he explores another option. And ultimately, it does appear that he knew that that wasn't what was going to happen. That wasn't the choice that was going to save everybody that he loved. For me, to be honest, this is one of the greatest scenes of the last episode, or I don't know what you want to call it, movie, uh, if you will. Uh, I'm glad that at least... Even in death, they got to have and share that final kiss, right? And that's why I also say that this was truly a love story. I don't know. Let me know what you think. And as always, I just want to remind you that we must persevere.